The neat thing about wildlife is the more you study it, the more you realize you don't know. That unknown is what drives the science. This is their preferred feed right here, ragweed. Quail love it. South Texas is a really special place to have a wildlife research institute. Kind of hits you down deep that this is just a, a real special place, not only in Texas, but, but in, the, in the United States as a whole. Early 1900s, Texas wildlife was market hunting. There were no restrictions on what could be harvested. Caesar Clayburgh saw a real void in the amount of wildlife that was here. He set it upon himself to start uh, setting limits for a hunting season, and this is before Texas Parks and Wildlife existed. No deer or turkey or quail will be shot around waterings. They did uh, wild turkey trapping down at Norris and transferred those birds to other parts of the state. They did the same with white-tailed deer. As he got near the end of his life, he took all his assets and put them in his will to establish a, a foundation for wildlife conservation. And it's that foundation that helped fund the beginning of the Caesar Claybrook Wildlife Research Institute in 1981. Caesar was the father of Texas wildlife conservation. We've got about 20 scientists that are studying wildlife and rangelands in South Texas. So we start from the soils and the vegetation. We've got scientists studying the deer and, and exotic, like Nilgai antelope, quail, and other game birds, a lot of the migratory species, too. The main reason for the Institute to exist is to research these management questions that are being asked. There's nothing theoretical about it. The research that we do at the Caesar Clayburgh Institute is, is really important because increasingly wildlife populations are getting pressed from all sides, whether it's roads, energy development, climate change, different rainfall patterns, all kinds of things. And, and I think giving landowners and wildlife managers the tools they need to be adaptable to these changes is going to be important. What would Caesar think? I think he'd be overwhelmed. I think he really would. He, he had no idea that wildlife in his name would have such an impact that it has today. <laughs>